It started as a girls' night out for two best friends, but ended with one of those girls dead, killed in a drunk driving accident. We're going to begin with that horrible crash in Rockland County. It happened early Saturday morning. A car carrying five students from Suffren High School crashed and then flipped over. The accident so bad a utility pole was snapped in half. A 16-year-old girl was killed. The 17-year-old driver now under arrest for DWI. Today we are going around Division Avenue High School interviewing faculty and staff on their opinion on drunk driving. <laughs> Please state your name. Alexis Torres. Alexis, if you, in the future, your child was taking part in drinking and driving, what would the consequence for them be as a parent? Um, I don't know, grounding, taking this Yeah. 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 Please state your name. Capital P, pubert underscore eight. Have you ever witnessed underage um, drinking and driving? Yes, I have. And um, what advice did you try to give, or if you could give somebody that was uh, about to take part in drinking and driving? Don't do that, go get yourself a coffee. Uh, go eat some bread to soak it up. And then just give your keys to someone else. Yeah. Then you're good. That was great. Please state your name. Shay McNeil Peg. Shay, what would you do if in the future your child was drinking and driving? Honestly, I'd be pretty mad. Um, definitely punish them. Um, might have to put the one two one two from Mike Tyson himself on them. I might have to if he decides that he wants to do it again because that is not funny. Right. And that's endangering everyone on the road. He's got to learn this lesson. It's true. Please state your name. Francisco Reyes. Have you ever witnessed <laughs> underage drinking? Yeah. Um, what about driving? Underage drinking and driving? Correct. No. no. No? What would you do if you were put in the position of being able to stop that from happening? I'd just get out of the car. Okay. And now we're with freshman Daniel Torres. <laughs> Have you ever witnessed Drinking and driving? Yes. Underage drinking and driving? Maybe. Where have you witnessed these things? On Orchid Road. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're here with. Wait, the mic's not on. Oh, sure. Alright. Check, 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 check. Alright, yeah, we're good. Cool. Alright. <laughs> Today we're here with. Matthew Glacy. And. Sully. And, uh, what advice would you give to somebody that was about to drunk drive? Uh, I would say it's a pretty bad idea. Okay, and what about like an alternate? I would take the keys from them. You take the keys? I would take the keys. Yeah, take an Uber. Uber. Take an Uber. Yeah. Good job. State your name. Angelina. Have you ever witnessed somebody about to partake in drunk driving? Yes. And what did you do in your power? Um, I told the parent that was there and they took their keys away and they didn't drive. Oh, good job. <laughs> now we're with? Mr. Arian. Have you ever witnessed underage drinking? Uh, yeah, when I was in high school. Okay, what about drinking followed by driving? When I was in high school, yeah. And what did you do in your power to... What did I do in my power? I made sure not to get in the car with that person. That's that, a very smart move. Yeah, at that point, you know, sometimes you can't change someone's uh, opinion or what they're going to do about the situation, so it's best to take care of yourself, so you opt not to put yourself in danger again to car with that person. Yeah. Good. <laughs> What is your opinion on drunk driving? It's an awful thing. What are your thoughts on if one of your kids got pulled over for a DUI? Um, they'd be grounded for the rest of their life. Okay, that's pretty fair. Why do you think so many people take place in drunk driving? Because I think it, they think, one, they're not drunk or they can do it while under the influence. And... I think the biggest reason is if you're someplace and you're under the influence and you have your car, leaving your car there is a real pain in the butt That's true. for the next day. My advice, folks, don't drink and drive. Take an Uber. <laughs>